Seriously, I mean, this is a big pair of panties. For me, I still refer to myself as plus size rather than fat um, because of childhood Blah, in my head. In some circles, I'm not big enough. Like they would look at me and go, well, you're not fat. And I'm like, well, yeah, but I have a belly. I can grab it. Most girls who are in plus size porn make roughly about half of what mainstream porn performers make. As a niche performer, you know, I don't have the backing of a, of a studio. I'm not a contract star. I don't have an agent. Most of us don't have publicists. So when we do have fans that go out of their way to purchase a DVD, it's so awesome because we get to sign it, we send it to you. Like we personally go to the post office and we ship it to you. We don't have an assistant that does it for us. Um, we buy the DVDs wholesale from the production company just like all the other retailers. One of the projects I decided that I really wanted to work on was a sex ed instructional guide for people of size, which is the other uh, definition of plus size people. It's people of size, kind of like people of color. You know, we wanted to just kind of present the fact and show plus size couples being intimate and, and say, look, you can, you can have awesome sex. The consumer base in the U.S. is huge literally and figuratively. Having companies recognize that and create products for that market instead of just ignoring them um, is, is, is a big affirmation that they acknowledge that there's money there. And just in the past year, the sheer number of companies that have come out with plus size lingerie lines is staggering. It's hot, you know, I mean, I would wear that. Why wouldn't I wear that?